Well, good Sunday evening to you, lovely ladies and gentlemen. Steve Collins coming to you from gorgeous San Antonio, Texas, the second most powerful, passionate, and purposeful coach and speaker in the world. All right, then, with AJ Collins, my man, AJ. Hope you guys hey. are doing great tonight. You're not a great realtor, and I'm not a great coach. It says in the book of Ecclesiastes, suck it up, buttercup. Do you think it says that, AJ? No, I don't think so. No, I'm just kidding. It doesn't say that in the B-I-B-L-A, but I will tell you this. You're not a great realtor. I'm not a great coach. What do you mean by that, Steve Collins? That sounds a little demeaning. No, it's just a little thing that rhymes with the word bleality, and that word is reality. You're not a great realtor. I'm not a great coach. What do you mean by that? I, I'm complimented frequently and I'm humbled by it and grateful for it when people recognize the accomplishments that we are achieving at Keller Williams Heritage in San Antonio, the number one Keller Williams office in the world out of over 800 offices, over 1,000 realtors, over 8,000 contracts, 2 billion written up last year. My coaching program represents 5% of that market center and over 1,100 of the contracts of those 8,000 written. It's a pretty phenomenal deal. And yet when I am complimented or people fly in from out of state to ask us what we're doing and how we do it, I'm always embracing the humility and the reality of having been in this business 20 years. And here's what I say. You're not a great realtor. It's a great market. I'm not a great coach. It's a great market. Let me tell you what I mean by that. People will get their real estate license. By the way, in order to get a real estate license, you basically have to have about a grand and a pulse. The bar you have to jump over to get in our industry is set way down there, way low to get into the real estate industry. Unless you're pretty much a felon, you're going to be able to get in if you choose to get into real estate. So here's what I can tell you working through and having survived a couple of real estate cycles because it is a cyclical business. It is this. Come after me when the market shifts. Look at my numbers when the market shifts. Look at what can be done when the market shifts because people are getting their license nowadays and they're saying, this is amazing. I've been in real estate two months and I listed a house and I got multiple offers. I'm a great realtor. No, baby doll, you ain't a great realtor. It's a great market. There's a difference between being a great realtor and being in a great market and pricing a house correctly. It will sell itself. God help you if you can even keep the transaction together because of all the complicated intricacies that occur after it goes under contract. That's where you're going to need some help. But let's just be real with each other. When people compliment me on the numbers that are being produced in the coaching program, I think my clients did over $228 million last year. What I say is this. Chase me down when the market shifts because what I'm attempting to do right now is I'm attempting to create a culture of people who work as if we are in a shifted market. Because you know what, ladies and gentlemen, if you dress up and you show up and you just do the basics of what you're supposed to do, you should be earning income hand over fist in this industry right now. If you are not making it in this industry right now, when it shifts, bye-bye, you're gonna be gone. Because right now, it's the easiest it has been to sell real estate since 2005, 2006, before we had the big mortgage breakdown. You're not a great realtor. It's a great market. You know how I know if you're a great realtor? I'll tell you. If you lead generate every day for a minimum of three hours, if you lead follow up every day for a minimum of an hour, and if you practice your dialogue and conversation of objection handlers, not to persuade people to do something they don't wanna do, but to logically and succinctly be able to address the common misconceptions and misunderstandings of the general public. Well, I really like my orange carpet. Can I keep it orange? Yes, you can. You'll make about 10 grand less. Well, I don't really want to paint the house. Can't somebody buy it as a fixer upper? Yes, if you want to make 10 grand less. Well, Billy Bob is offered to sell my house for half of what you will charge. I know Billy Bob. He should charge less than that. Let me tell you something. If that's a guy who is demonstrating to you on your listing appointment, his 
aggressive negotiation skills by giving away his own income. His own income. How hard is he going to fight for you when he meets a bulldog like me who's going to eat him for lunch? He was applying for the job of being your professional negotiator. How you like them apples. Ladies and gentlemen, they're practice involved in you being able to master your craft. You're not a great realtor and I'm not a great coach. I will know I have become a great coach when the market shifts and I still have clients who are producing at a ridiculously and insanely high level. And I have a small elite group, a remnant, if you will, of people who are working as if we were in a shifted, crappy market. These are great realtors. These are great realtors. Do you know, I mean like, well, I've only been in business three months and I've already sold one house. Baby doll, your mama don't count. Your grandma don't count, right AJ? Nope. I mean, they don't count because it's like, I mean, I feel so bad for you. I live my house very much, but I'll go ahead and let you sell it so you can get some practice. I can only say that because I have Mexican y'all. Listen, you ain't a great realtor. It's a great market. You want to be a great realtor? Demonstrate you're a great realtor by doing the things that great realtors do. If you do the things that great realtors do, then you earn the right to move from a triple syllable to a two syllable. That means you will no longer be a realtor. You get to be a realtor. You're not a great realtor. I'm not a great coach. This is simply a great market. Would you like to be a great realtor? Then do the things that you would do if this market was shut down. In 08, you guys know, we lost thousands of thousands of people because they kept sitting by their phones waiting for something to happen. But those who had the habits and created the disciplines to operate by a schedule who understood it's not about selling real estate, it's about following a schedule. These were the people that remained and that succeed to this day at a high level. And the ones who did it with a ginormous heart are the ones who are living off of repeat and referral business because they have people out here in the earth who know this is a guy I can trust. This is a woman I can trust. They're gonna take care of me at any cost, any price. They'll put my needs above their own. I trust them, I love them. I'm telling my precious wife trying to call me. She's hungry for the, right here. Let me show you, you would be too. I'm about to mess all y'all up. You know how we work out and get big muscles? You know how I have big muscles like this? We eat Grimaldi's pizza on Sunday nights. Ladies and gentlemen, you're not a great realtor. I'm not a great coach. It's a great market. Work hard, do the right thing, dress up, show up, and get ready to blow up. Because if you work now as if we're in a shifted market, then when the market shifts, not if, when, you'll be ready. Have a great day, guys.